Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 36. Okay, uh, the previous episode was kind of like a big build up and Soul is going to probably uh, get the power from his like inner demon, that thing. And he's going to start playing uh, a piano inside uh, his soul, I'm guessing. And I'm guessing this will be one of those episodes where like a character gets a major power up and he's going to like kick ass or something. So yeah, like I'm quite looking forward to it. Like I was looking forward to it from the previous episode. So like uh, I still remember that episode when like Marka kind of like went crazy and like uh, Sol was also kind of like uh, like using that power, which kind of influenced Marka at the same time. So that was quite like uh, the amount of power she showed. That was quite like uh, that was like an amazing episode. I really loved it. So I'm looking forward to this episode as well. So. Let's see what so happens and like how Soul actually like uh, fights after getting that power and is he like able to keep his calm and like come back from that madness thing. So yeah guys, so without further ado, uh, let's get started with episode number 36 of Soul Eater. Okay, uh, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two. One, go. <laughs> okay, Justin. Huh. <sighs> okay, no. I think that earphone is somehow like related to its power. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> um, yep, that was his plan from the beginning. He wants his earphones. <laughs> okay. Okay, what the? Damn, this guy's powerful, like Justin. Uh. Wait, he's stuck. Oh my god. Okay. What? An illusion. Oh. Okay. This is something new. Snow clone jutsu. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. That is fast. Yeah, this is like Justin is pretty powerful, like as you can see, like even this chainsaw guy like he can't <clears throat> I guess you can't like uh, take him on like uh head to head. Most probably he's like planning something. Like he said something about like uh like I can't take the, uh him on with this body, so I think uh, is this something like uh, mosquito did like he uh, like reversed his time and become stronger so is, is that guy also thinking something like that I'm guessing because all of these guys are like uh, are supposed to be pretty old like they have been like alive for like 800 years so I'm guessing like just like mosquito has that kind of power he also has some kind of power like that which would probably like tap into the younger self's power where he was like more stronger.
Okay. This thing. Okay, there are the mice. Their name is Mizuni, okay. Hmm? Okay. What did they do actually? Seven people's soul resins. Okay. And here it is. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, mm. <laughs> as always. Like the devil is trying to provoke him. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is persistent. <laughs> uh, all dust has accumulated on the piano. Okay, calm down. Okay, wow. What the hell? Okay, something's happening. Okay, let's see. Extent of their power. Oof! Damn. Okay, come on, go, go. Wow. That's just one of them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Damn. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> He's getting like beat up so badly. Okay, I knew this was coming. Like Okay, that uh, defensive power is a bit bothersome. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Come on, like, just... Just break his nose. <laughs> he won't be able to suck blood. Oh, is that so? I thought he was... He could probably power up more. If he like... Uh, reduces his time again. Okay, oh my god, like... like they are doing combined soul resonance and... Yeah, the piano. On top of that, my god. Yeah, the Fable mode as well. Like three things on top of one another. Okay, wow. <laughs> My god. Okay, that's a way to like do it. Like, don't go to the enemy, just pull your enemy to yourself. <laughs> yeah, this is quite tiring.
Oh. <laughs> They're like all taking the turns, beating him up. Like, okay, now I feel a bit bad for him. <laughs> Mosquito. <laughs> My God. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is overkill. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I... Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, great, amazing. Okay, there's still one left, Maka. I told it, you should have like broken that nose. Oh, and this guy is salivating. Maka. Yep. Alright. I'm guessing they will have like, Maka will have more power because like Soul and her they are like uh, partners and they have like a better understanding of each other than the others this feeling oh. yep like they are obviously going to have like a better chemistry and a, like a better power oh my god Okay. Time to reap some souls. <laughs> there it is. <coughs> oh my god. Anti demon wavelength. Oh my god, that's huge. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the hell? Yeah. Mm. Oh, Demon Hunter. Okay, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Woof. Wow. Okay. Well. Goddamn mosquitoes. Okay, I hope that is enough. Like, this guy won't like... Like, stand up and say like, yeah, this was not my last form. I have like a final form. Please, n nothing like that. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying. <laughs> like, Blaster himself would have been like, uh, enough. Wait, what? Oh my god, what the hell? What? Oh, he won't do it again. Yeah. No, he will lose control of it. Wait, no, he also said that uh, 100 years ago was like the strongest I have been, like something about it, like the strongest defensive power. Okay, I'll, I'll have to discuss this later on. Am I like mistaking something? I said, like, you should have, like, broken that nose. That nose is everything, like... <laughs> if... <laughs> if there was no, The nose was not there, he wouldn't have been able to learn away. <laughs> like that.
Yeah, run. Well, it turns out they didn't have to like help them. Hmm. Oh no, here it is. Oh yeah, but but still, you should probably get out of that place. I think. <laughs> okay, it's like a three D movie. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, at least, um, he came back. <laughs> Fine. Ah, <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Next. <laughs> okay. Well, thank God, like everything, uh, like went okay. Oh, it's gone. <clears throat> so technically, it's a mission failure, but still, like. What? Oh, Shinigami, yeah. Inishini Koroshi. <laughs> As always. Oh my god! <laughs> screen, clean the screen! <laughs> oh my. Bad news. Yeah. Oh, did he use it? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, oh my god. So, like, this mission was failure on both fronts? What is that now? Eh? Oh, so. Oh, so they're like going to use the fact that they have it. Yeah, okay. Hmm. 
Okay, I get it where he's, he's coming from. Oh, wait a minute. Miru says a spy, isn't? Doesn't she? Is she going to know this inside information? Wait a minute. So, like, she left a fake thing over there? Oh. Okay, so that's why they were inside. Alright, oh my god, this lady. Hmm. Oh boy, here we go again. Okay. Wait, that was supposed to like, uh, like worsen, uh, Stein's symptoms. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, oh, she's using that. Yeah. My God. Yeah, just like you, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> um, okay. I guess. Okay, that was a satisfying fight. That was a really good fight. And I, I really like this episode. This was like... Uh, one of the top episodes uh, of this anime at least like uh, up until now so like um so Medusa's planted a spy for that reason, like to know where the brew is, and then after like uh, knowing the location, she spent uh, like sent her own uh, people like uh, Elka to take that and plant a fake over there. And oh my God! Okay, so yeah, that was a pretty um solid planning. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, that's the end. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Um. So this was episode number uh thirty six of Soul Eater. All right. So yeah, this episode. Uh, as I was like, I wanted uh something amazing to happen, and it really uh provided that, and I was really satisfied with the whole uh fight and everything that happened. And as like we knew, like uh, the whole uh, soul resonance thing that uh, like combined with the uh, soul's uh, demon. I don't know if that is like his demon power or not, but anyways, uh, soul's uh, inner power, and uh, like those two combined would be something uh, like 
out of the what can i say too overpowered and <clears throat> that was correct so <laughs> like mosquito who was so strong in like the previous episode when they were just using that combined so like they couldn't even like use the combined soul resonance because of the whole uh, interference thing of the um, uh, electromagnetic uh, whatever that tornado uh, was happening so they weren't even even use able to use the soul resonance so like uh, so the thing that uh, soul did was start playing a piano within the uh, his soul and using the pianos um, i'm guessing wavelength and vibrations he like made a soul resonance with all of them and so okay there were like three layers like number one was like the whole inner demon thing which he was like playing the piano that thing number two was the combined soul resonance and on top of that uh black star had another thing that was like that fey blade mode uh, fey blade mode uh the yoto mode of that uh demon blade and <clears throat> so yeah like uh like what can i say piling up one uh, super like one technique upon another technique and then another like piling up another one of it on top of that like that's what happened in this episode and like uh, the whole uh, soul resonance thing is like, like so powerful in its own and that combined with uh, souls uh, like that piano playing that demon power and uh, like that was like too much and as this like kid said like that was overkill like I think like even like only one of them would have been like enough to take him on <laughs> and like all of them <laughs> took their turns beating him up <laughs> oh my god that was funny like they like all took like, their turns like first like first came um black star then came kid and then came maka like they each took their turn and beat him up pretty bad <laughs> he was like forced to run away from that place <clears throat> i thought maybe they would probably be able to defeat him there but unfortunately he ran away and all because of that like long nose like i said it before <laughs> the first thing he should have done was like broken that nose like he used that nose two times Num number one was like he, he used it to like keep keep his balance from falling down and then uh, last like lastly he like used it to run away well if <laughs> that nose was not there i doubt <laughs> he would have been able to run away he, he like he could have like rolled away if he did not have that nose but that would be a little bit of uh like a little bit difficult so yeah anyways what the hell am i saying <laughs> okay so <clears throat> yeah um yeah that was like a pretty good fight and oh okay another thing um soul uh stopped playing uh midway i think number one the reason was like he was uh fearful of the whole thing going berserk so that was one reason which he obviously like, did not tell them and another reason is as he said like he was uh, fearing of the whole factor that the like mosquito might have another form like when he uh, like uh, that, the same thing i was like uh, a bit concerned about in the previous episode i said that uh, like in the previous episode as well like he said something about uh, like I am uh, reversing my time for like 100 years and uh, <clears throat> this uh, yeah he said something about that like uh, like only 100 years would be enough to take you guys on something like that and by his um, like uh, words it could like it meant that he had many other forms as well like if he like reversed more of his time he could have gotten younger and more powerful I thought that was like maybe the case but uh, now I'm like looking for that portion but I can't find it now like I think in this episode uh, Mosquito said something about like uh, like the hundred years was like the time when I had the most defensive power and I was the uh, most strong no no he did not say anything about strongest he said something about like has the most defensive power I'm not sure like I can't find that portion I'm trying to find it here now after it has ended but i can't pinpoint the like time when he said that so i cannot like confirm the whole thing so i think he said something about like that so so did like soul and me as well like in the previous episode i also thought that he has some kind of hidden power as well if he like reverses more of his time he can grow more powerful 
So I also said a lot of things about trump card like uh, people should like keep the trump cards hidden until the last moment and if like these guys like using their trump cards like soul and marker so if like mosquito has another power he might be able to overpower them but uh, like if the thing that mosquito said was <coughs> was really true that he like his defensive power was the most hundred years ago so did uh, me and soul misinterpret the whole thing like like I and uh, uh, obviously Soul also thought this that uh, he could like return to a more younger form and become more powerful then it will be like a mess like they themselves are so tired of like fighting him and so like if he grows more stronger that would be a problem in itself so Soul did not like uh, try to catch him like go after him so was that all kind of like a misunderstanding like this was like the most powerful he could have been so if that was the case then <clears throat> like he tricked us that means didn't he like he made it seem as if like this was like his uh something that he would be able to grow more powerful than so if that is not correct then he, that means he like kind of tricked us and we got um yeah we kind of like uh read too much into it and uh the result is like he ran away so i don't know i might be wrong because i can't remember the actual uh line that he said in this episode i cannot find that portion at all uh like but i think he said something uh like along those lines that uh 100 years ago was the time when i had the most defensive power i don't know anyways <clears throat> so yeah this was something that was kind of bugging me and yeah and uh, also uh justin was pretty damn strong as well like he like, he was able to just like uh fend off uh the chain guy without like even uh, suffering any damage and who else was in this episode um oh and like ox and the other guy they like came in like and didn't have anything to do because obviously the like uh souls team uh, took care of the whole situation and last but not the least, least Arachne was um, fooled I'm guessing and I'm not quite sure if Arachne <coughs> uh, like uh, knew this was a trick of Medusa because obviously like Arachne is pretty intelligent so I'm really not sure if he like really thinks that yeah the thing like the brew is uh, destroyed because of old age and he like <clears throat> does not <clears throat> suspect medusa at all i'm not sure about that because obviously she is pretty intelligent and uh, i don't know we'll probably uh, get to know that later on if she really believes that uh, the brew is the one that that is the real brew is the one that they have with them and uh, like Medusa did not plant a fake brew at that uh, place <coughs> so who knows and yeah like uh, the thing that Medusa did in this episode was pretty damn um, clever like <coughs> she planned the whole thing and she even planned uh, like so how did she like go into all of this like and what is her like final plan like what does she actually want like at previously i kind of thought like she just wanted to um <coughs> unseal kishin because obviously like he she said something about <coughs> people not advancing because of peace <coughs> something along those lines uh, and i think like he she was probably like that uh, kind of uh, guy like uh <clears throat> sasuke like who uh, in naruto said something along these lines like uh being friends being at peace uh, uh dulls the fangs and so he like obviously you guys know what happened so i'm i'm thinking like <clears throat> god damn it <clears throat> so i'm thinking i've been talking for quite a long time <clears throat> okay so yeah uh, so i was thinking like uh maybe that was like her whole plan like she was planning to uh, unseal kishin so that uh, the world would get uh enemy an antagonist uh, antagonist which everyone would like bomb like um, like come together and fight against and advance the civilization everything would just going to advance because of that 
uh, which was like uh, at a stalemate because obviously like there was peace everywhere and people were getting weaker so i was thinking something along those lines but like it turns out like that was probably not her whole plan like what does she actually want like she um unsealed kishin then now she is like planning what the hell is she planning with the brew like to do and uh, most probably like she said something about uh like just me, let me just check that portion like um watch closely she was in arachnophobia and uh, kishin uh, okay no not here a little bit earlier brew is only fit for someone who will cause the storms to brew okay so basically she wants to be evil like is that it like she wants to be the most evil person in the whole world and like control the world or something like if that is the like reason why she's doing it that is a dull reason like we've seen people uh, like a lot of uh, and like enemy characters antagonists that are like the same thing like world domination and uh, controlling the whole world killing everyone stuff like this like this thing is so overplayed that i don't know and even like medus is kind of like playing it in a different way but if that is like her main uh, goal then i have to say medusa like the things that she's using are pretty damn smart but your ending goal is pretty boring <laughs> like like what like the same thing again like world domination is that it i don't know like like i really liked her uh, like the previous uh, like i like i thought the uh, previously i thought that she was doing all of this because obviously like the world was at a little bit too much at peace and people were not advancing because of that and obviously she is kind of like a scientist and she like uses her brains so i thought maybe like she was doing all of this to uh, like uh, ma like uh, to start uh, what can i say like make the world advance again and she was like i think like she was uh, like uh, not wanting to see the world like stop so she wanted uh, uh, like a thing that would go against the world so that the world would again stop uh, advance uh, like start advancing something along those lines mostly because she is also a scientist and scientists have this kind of curiosity and this kind of thing about like advancing more and more I, w I thought that maybe that was kind of the thing like she was going for and she was kind of like a mad scientist character but like i really liked that kind of reasoning i really liked that uh like uh, ending goal that she had in mind the reason for doing all of these things i really liked that but now looking at it she's like just uh, messing with them for the like like if she's doing that like she's just messing with them for the sake of it that would like uh, like that would be kind of hilarious like she is just like messing with them and like doing it just for the sake of it like that would be pretty fun but if she's some doing some these all of these things for like some kind of goal like world domination or something like that or become the most powerful person in the whole universe kind of thing that we always see i don't know i don't know how to feel about that then like i really like her as a uh, like a villain character like a bad guy so let's see we'll probably see but we have to like uh, admit that she is pretty damn intelligent and all of these things that they're, they're doing is like all planned and everything i really like that even if like uh, her goals are i i don't know what to feel about them now I might be wrong, completely wrong, but I really like Medusa as a character, like uh, as a bad character, like like there are uh, like uh, bad characters, there are like good bad characters, like uh, people like who are like completely evil, that kind of thing. Uh, I really like uh, her like using her brains and everything, like all of these things are like planned by her, like she even uh, took the whole thing into consideration that if she dies, what she's going to happen, like uh, she like made herself into that little snake and then uh, took over uh, the body of a girl then like went to arachne like all of these things must be planned then like just uh, like uh, the amount of foreshadowing she has gone through like the planning that she have done that's amazing like uh, like hats off to that so yeah okay and unfortunately the mission was a failure uh, they did not get brew like shibusen and they're under the uh, wrong impression that arachne has that uh, brew and arachne is going to like use that as kind of like a bargaining chip i'm guessing 
something so anyways yeah this is a pretty damn good episode i really like this episode so yeah so okay guys and um, this was episode number uh 36 yeah 36 so this was episode number 36 of soul eater so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode or anything just i'll be sure to check them out and so yeah guys i'll be back with a new episode of soul eater next week same time uh, so until then goodbye and have a nice day